You might be wondering, what's on the GED science test? Well, it's a mix of content and skills that you have to use with that content. Let's talk about the content first. It's 40% life science, 40% physical science, and 20% earth and space science. In life science, you can have topics like heredity, reproduction, genetics, DNA, evolution, natural selection, ecosystems, human body, cells, and biological processes. In physical science, you could see energy, work, forces, and motion, and you'll often have to use formulas that they give you on those questions to figure something out. Atoms, molecules, states of matter, chemical equations and reactions, so you might need to balance a chemical equation. Waves, electricity, and magnetism. In Earth and space science, you might see plate tectonics, Earth's composition, geology, weather, climate, natural resources, the solar system, and the universe. And then you would need to use these skills in all of that content. So in the scientific method, you might have to answer questions about designing a scientific investigation, correcting errors in the hypothesis or in the conclusion, interpreting the results of a scientific experiment, you could see graphs and texts about any of those content areas, so you'd have to read and interpret those graphs and texts. In data analysis, you could see mean, median, mode, and range. You could also see combinations and permutations as well. You're going to see formulas you might have to use with physics or chemistry content. So there's 90 minutes for the science GED test and about 34 questions. So that leaves you about two and a half minutes per question if you want to think about your timing. Check out my other videos on these topics and skills. You've got this.